What's up guys? I'm James. This is Eastgate Concentrate. I'm going to go ahead and bring you this video today. We're going to go over hub drive, belt drive, and gear drive. The pros and cons of each of them, what they can kind of bring to the table, and things that you should look out for when before you buy one. Um, we really can't do too much of a performance test today because there is some gnarly wind. So in between, I'm trying to get some clips of some good audio of what I can go ahead and talk about. Um, what you want to look out for before you buy one of these boards and uh, the pros and cons. <clears throat> what else, John? <laughs> when I'm not cool. All right, John, let's do a quick little fucking introduction video, bro. I like you. Who are you, John? Who is John? Who is John, and, and why is he helping me test today? Hey, John. Is this wing gonna just fuck it up? It might a little bit, but it's not too bad, bro. Here, come over here a little bit. Because you're definitely out of it then. There we go. John, how's it going? Who are so, you? My name is John Davy. I live in the UK, and over the winter in the UK, the weather is so shitty that I decide to come to sunny Las Vegas. I did it last year, and I'm doing it this year. So it's a month's worth of skating in the sun. There we go. It's always nice to have John from the UK here in Vegas. He'll be here for Eastgate Con, guys. Make yes. sure that you uh, get your tickets and go ahead and head out there. Come on, so bang. what John's going to be doing is helping me today. Uh, he's going to be riding the boards while I'm going ahead and getting the footage. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be something simple. So I just want to introduce John. There he is. Go. Cool. Yeah. Scared of her, John. <laughs> this is all full black. Yeah, that's the problem with something like this. This is no. Sure the batch is not dead. No. That's about. That's all it's got up to, bro. hit the power button on that one and then we'll get this one going okay. um slap it into high mode It's 
like nothing, bro. All right. Full brakes right there uh, from somewhat full acceleration. Okay. Let me see how. But you can come. Ten feet. Twenty. Twenty feet. Do a little comparison real quick for this. brakes. Car. Oh, really? 20 feet out, huh? <laughs> 20 feet out? You were full brakes still right here? Yeah. Oh, wow. All right, let's go back up. So, all right, guys, same test from that rock right there. So there's a the rock. Coming back out here. Right where that pole is at is 20 feet. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm already recording. Don't hurt yourself. Yeah, much better. And with these brakes, bro, you can fucking tune them through the vest and yeah. hit harder. John, you didn't even give me a good brake test, bro. Look at that. Look at that. Look how much shorter I got it. <laughs> Cheated the endurance. All right. Nice. That's probably, that's 10 feet. What's up guys so i had to i had to go ahead and kind of cut this one short uh while me and john were doing this uh review and we were getting ready to kind of dive a little bit more into this um the owner of that complex came over to me and told me that uh i had to leave and he was trespassing me and i was not allowed to skateboard in there um i, I tried to talk to him i tried to be cool with him and uh let them know, look, sir, we're not doing regular skateboard stuff. I'm not doing grinds, nothing like that. This is my channel. This is who I am. This is my name, uh, everything. And uh, he just he just honestly wasn't having it. He said there was no skateboard in there and he was going to call the police and I was being trespassed. So unfortunately, uh, me and John had to skedaddle out of there because I do not like having run-ins with the police. The pros of Hub Drive is it's silent. 
Um, if you have a better ESC and you have a better battery, it can provide, it, they can be pretty powerful. But uh, this, the problem is, is that, well, what I found from the couple that I've ridden is that they, they lack torque. Um, if you have to come up to a hill or anything like that, whenever you're, uh, whenever you're halfway up the hill, you're having a hard time making it up. It just really struggles. And uh, when you get on the brakes, if you're going really fast, uh, you're basically say that that board tops out at 25 and you're going 23 24 miles an hour and you get on the brakes they hit really hard um, and it's kind of it's, it's weird it's a lot it's it's different than a belt drive but I mean if you're used to it and you know to anticipate it then it is what it is so uh, it's, it's really not that bad um, and then of course uh, the con the major con that I in my opinion for hub drive is that you have so much you don't have very much urethane um, in between the motor and the street. It's a very small sleeve, so you feel a lot more. You feel a lot more cracks, rocks, basically every little thing in the road. Whenever you hit it, you feel it. Um, and then you're really kind of limited to your wheel selection um, and the wheel size. It's pretty much your, you gotta go to that company or maybe a couple other companies and get that size sleeve. Belt drive pros and cons so for a belt drive you're gonna have a lot more options of hubs or you're gonna for belt drive you're gonna have a lot more options for pulleys and wheels so if you want to change your wheels uh, from 80 to millimeter to 83 millimeter 83 millimeter 90 95 97 107 111 uh, you can do all that uh, as long as you have the right pulley so most wheels run with ABEC pulleys or Kegel pulleys. Uh, sometimes the Kegel pulleys and ABEC pulleys are slightly different for different manufacturers, but most of the time uh, you can get away with having a couple different pulleys to run a bunch of different wheels. Um, with belt drive, you can switch from pneumatic wheels to street wheels. So pneumatic tire is basically a 175 millimeter wheel or 155 millimeter wheel that has a tube inside of it and that's around a hub. So you can put air in the tube. You can run higher tire pressure, lower tire pressure. Um, they have a bunch of different style wheels for a bunch of different things. In my opinion, there really is no cons to belt drive. Uh, some people say that they're too loud. Um, uh, let's see, gear drive. Uh, pros and cons of gear drive. Uh, pros and cons of gear drive. The pros of, of gear drive is that I feel like there's a little bit more torque and a little bit better brake response. Um, now, but that's subjective. This is just my opinion. Um, I, but I have noticed that whenever I hop on a gear drive setup that the brakes hit a little bit faster and they hit a little bit harder. Same thing with torque. Uh, the torque is not that much better, but it's just, it's noticeable. It's noticeable to where when you get on a belt drive and a gear drive, you can notice that, hey, it's got a little bit more torque. Um, the cons of gear drive is that you're, same, kind of same thing with hubs. Wherever you went to get that gear drive, you're pretty much locked in there to get gears from that gear drive company. Uh, and then you have really, uh, you have a couple different styles of gear drive. You have open and you have uh, closed and closure gear drive. And then you got chain drive gear. Um, and then you're just pretty much locked in with those gears. Man, that dude's hauling ass. All right, guys. Well, I mean, that pretty much is this video, hub drive, belt drive, gear drive, what it is, in my opinion, what the pros and cons are of those things. Uh, sorry I had to, that this had to be kind of an untraditional video today, but you know, I was dealing with untraditional circumstances. Weather got good, then it didn't get good, and uh, I had a good spot to kind of stay out of the weather and had a good situation, but then of course some guy came over and he doesn't like skateboarding. He doesn't like skateboards, so it is what it is. Ran with the punches and uh, got it. Uh, so anyways, yeah, guys, stay tuned. Uh, like I'm saying, this should be a two or three part series. Um, on the next one, we'll go ahead and uh, get a couple of boards together, get them on some hills, uh, do performance testing, and yeah. All right, guys.